What I'm using today, and this is one of my go-to products in dentistry to me, it's my most valuable product in dentistry, and I'll show you other uses for it in a few minutes on implant impressions, is Luxabite. Luxabite is an acrylic-based bite registration material. And it comes in your standard 10 to 1 gun, which it has catalyst and base, and it comes out of mixing tips. So it's mixed consistently every single time. When I do a Luxabite bite registration, I always use cheek retractors so I could see if the back teeth are occluding. I will only put my bite registration on the teeth that I have prepared. I've prepared the, the four anterior teeth and I will slightly extend to maybe one, sometimes two teeth distally of my preparations. And then I'll have the patient bite down. By using the cheek retractors, I can easily see that this patient is in maximum intercuspation. So all I'm using is my Luxabite, just as a jig to on my prepared teeth. The key to doing a bite registration is to use just a very thin layer of bite registration material. Many dentists, what they do, they put the bite registration, whether it be silicone or acrylic, they put it absolutely everywhere and they tell the patient to bite down. They have no idea if the patient is even biting properly. The patient may not be biting properly. The patient may be moving. By using the cheek retractors, I can always see if the patient is biting properly. And my front registration is just a lock-in for the bite. If I'm doing posterior teeth, same thing. I've just prepared these two molars. I see that my bite on the opposing side is totally stable. So all I really have to do is put my registration on my preparations and slightly beyond. And this is how I do the registration, a thin, thin layer of Luxabite. My cheek retractors, I can see that my other side is in maximum intercuspation and the lab can accurately mount this. This is another one of the tricks that I learned to stop doing adjustments by taking an accurate bite registration. And this is what a Luxabite should look like, extremely thin wafer. What we don't understand, and a lot of people who haven't been to a dental lab don't know, is that even this wafer is too thick for a dental lab. What the dental lab will normally do, the technician will thin out the wafer so he can easily put it over the teeth. In fact, most of the silicone bite registrations taken by dentists, the labs don't even use them. They have to hand mount the models. So let me show you how to take a Luxabite. Today we're going to be showing you how to do a bite registration. As you can see, when the patient closes, the posterior teeth are in maximum intercuspation. In other words, this patient has a very, very solid bite. So all we really have to do is take the registration on the anterior teeth and let the lab technician be able to envision that the back teeth are touching together. Open real wide, close down. As you can see, the patient closes simply into the registration. I find it much easier to do a registration with gingival retraction. We are going to be using Luxabite, which is an acrylic based bite registration material. And what I do, I take the Luxabite and I place it on some of the posterior teeth, not all the way, just on the premolars. And I'm registering the anterior section and I just use the Luxabite very sparingly so it doesn't engage in the undercuts. And there's no need to rush. We have plenty of setting time. Close down. As you can see, the patient closes perfectly into maximum intercuspation. Luxabite, we have about two minutes set time from the time the timer was placed on. We let it set, take it out, and it's simple for the lab 
to mount the case.